Hello and welcome to our sixth segment of the Lord's Prayer Study Series. Today we're taking a look at our sixth petition and lead us not in temptation and our seventh petition, but deliver us from evil. Lead us not into temptation. This one can be a bit tricky since God has vowed to never harm us, to never trick us into sin. Why would we need to pray to God that He not lead us into temptation? In 1 Corinthians 10, 13, Paul writes, Do not let us encounter any temptation beyond our ability. So many temptations are beyond our ability to resist. If that were not so, there would not be any sin in this world. So let's take a look at how Jesus taught us to prevail over temptation when he was in the wilderness. When Jesus was tempted, he used scripture and the power of God to prevail. So in this petition, we recognize that we need God's word and God's power to keep us from making bad choices in our lives. We, when we ask for forgiveness, we are acknowledging our past sins. When we are asking God to guide us, to help us avoid sinning, we are speaking of our future acts. Again, Joel Friedrich expands the sixth petition this way. Keep your promise and be true to yourself, Father, by not doing anything that would cause us to sin. Do not abandon us in temptation and do not let any temptation beyond our strength befall us. But send us your spirit to defend us in every temptation. I pray this for myself and all your children. The seventh petition, deliver us from evil, again is only found in the Gospel of Matthew. Luke's version actually ends with do not lead us into temptation. So when we ask God to deliver us from evil, we are asking God to free us from all moral sin, from anything that separates us from God. We are asking that God undergird our lives with His power and His presence and His strength and His protection. Joel again expands on this seventh petition with the following. Father, rescue me and all your saints in the church militant from evil. Protect us when we are tempted. Assure us of your love. And transform everything that seems to harm us into blessing. Bring us all to glory where we will worship you, our all in all. I pray this in the name of the one who taught us this prayer, Jesus Christ your son. So let us now close with prayer once again. Holy God, we come to you today with gratitude and with trepidation. Allow your presence and peace to seep into our hearts, minds, and souls. In these unsettling times, calm us, center us, and deliver us. We thank you that you hear our prayers as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen.